Hi, welcome to yoga class. You made it to your mat. Excellent. Let's get started. I'm going to sit up on a block. If you have a fair blocks, great. You can even sit up on both of them. If your hips are tight or your knees are tight, sit up as high as you'd like. Uh, I'm going to use one. If you don't have blocks, no problem. Just a little bit. Uh, so cross-legged, you can have your legs however works for you. All right, let's get started. So we're getting movements. Let's actually take our shoulders up towards our ears. Really high, 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 and then let them drop. Your hands might be at your side. Let's do it one more time. Inhale, take the shoulders up towards your ears. Exhale, drop the shoulders. Now you do a couple shoulder rolls. Anything else? That will help you sit with a little more ease. And then bringing the hands gently to rest anywhere on your legs. Your palms can be up, palms can be down. Jaw is relaxed. And go ahead and close your eyes. And we'll take a couple deep breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. Again, just letting the body be heavy, relax down into onto the mat, into the ground, onto the uh, block. And again, inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. And one more, just like that. Inhale through the nose. Open the mouth and ah, you can even make a sound. All right, close those eyes. Bring your breath back to normal. Welcome yourself to the mat. Hmm. Nice tall spine. How can you sit with a nice tall spine and yet feel easeful in your sitting? Maybe relaxing the front body just a little bit. Back body is strong. Think about relaxing your belly, letting the air begin to move down on the inhale through the bottom of the lungs, maybe expanding your tummy just a little bit. Letting any thoughts of uh, the day, either before you got here after you leave, just let those just float away and see if we can keep our attention on our breath. Our internal energy. Trying to deepen the breath now. Let's take five breaths, counting backwards from five. If you can make each inhale a little bit deeper. In and out through the nose now. Again, relaxing the jaw, relaxing the tongue. Soften the skin of the forehead and the cheeks. The tops of the shoulders relaxing down away from the ears. Two more breaths. Good, last one. All right, let's open the eyes. Let's take uh, hands down to your side and as you inhale, reach the hands out and up. You might look up at the hands. Exhale, hands back down by the side. Let's do two more of those. Inhale, you're reaching all the way out through the fingertips. Lifting up all the way through the spine. You might even lift your heart, your chest, up towards your hands, up towards the sky. Good, exhale down. All right, let's add a side bend. Let's inhale the arms up. As you exhale, lower the left hand down and take the right hand over for a side bend. 
Good, inhale back up. Let's go to the other side. And again, inhaling up, side bend. Hips are heavy. You're reaching out through the fingertips. Good, inhale up. And exhale, side bend. All right, let's add a twist. Inhale up. Let's take the right hand to the left knee, your left hand back. Good, inhale up. Let's go to the other side. Exhale, twist. Opposite hand to opposite knee. Inhale up one more time each side. Good, inhaling up. Exhale, twist. This time we're going to inhale up, and I'd like you to lift your chest and your chin all the way up. Nice extension through the crown of your head. And as you exhale, let's round the spine. Take your hands to your knees, your legs, round the spine. Seated cat cow. Inhale, lift and extend. You might stick your tailbone out in the back as you lift and exhale, round. You can think about rounding the tailbone. Good. One more time. Good. Exhale down. All right. Excellent. Got our spine warmed up. Let's take our hands to the tops of our shoulders. Warm up those shoulders and our back. So I want you to take big circles out with your elbows. I think I'm hitting my microphone maybe. I'm going to move that down just a little bit. Big circles with your elbows. I want you to take your attention back to your shoulder blades. And as you lift the elbows in the front, spread your shoulder blades wide. And as you bring the elbows back, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Good. Two more. Movement is really in those shoulder blades. Last circle here. Good. And then we're going to go the other direction. So as you come down and forward, the shoulder blades spread. As you come up and back, the shoulder blades are squeezed together. Good. Relax the jaw. And you're still breathing. We're going to inhale as we come up. Exhale as we move down. Two more circles. Last one. Excellent. All right. Shake out the arms. Shake out the wrists. In fact, let's do some wrist circles. I've made a gentle fist. Slowly circle the wrists around in one direction and then the other. We're going to be moving into tabletop position. So we want our wrists to be warmed up and ready. Good. All right, shake them out and let's move on to our hands and knees. I'm going to keep, um, if you like a block, uh, we're going to do some lunges, low lunges. So if you like blocks for that and you have some, keep them there. Again, this class can be done without blocks. If you don't have any, no worries. All right hands and knees. So spread your fingers wide. First thing I'd like you to think about is wide fingers and not having all the weight in your uh, the heel of your hand. So see if you can spread that weight into the other the knuckles and the fingers. So we're going to bend our elbows in order to get a feeling for that. And then I want you to press into your mat and straighten the arms. Create space in the shoulder and it helps distribute the weight so that it isn't so heavy on our wrists. Good. All right. Knees are about hip distance apart, right under your uh, hips. Perfect, perfect position. All right. Let's start. Let's do a, just a little cat cow here. So what we're going to do is we're going to inhale. You're going to drop your belly, lift your tail, your chest and your head. Good. Exhale. Round the spine, round the tailbone and lift the shoulders up to the sky. Good. Inhale again. Drop the belly. Lift the head, chest, and tail. Inhale. Exhale. Round the spine. Take that belly button up to the spine. Spread the shoulder blades wide. Good. Two more. Inhale up. And exhale round. Good. Last one. Inhale. Extend. And exhale round. Good. Back to center. I want you to think here you've got a you're looking just down at the ground you've got a nice nice long neck nice long spine and we're going to take that right foot back behind us good level your hips so as you take this back we don't want to lift the hips you can level your hips good you're going to reach back through the heel 
And as you exhale, we're going to bring that knee underneath and round our spine. How about up to your, um, maybe your elbow? Good. Inhale. Reach back. Exhale. Knee underneath. Good. One more like that. Extending back through the heel. Exhale, round. Knee under. Good. All right. We're going to take that knee or leg back again, and we're going to extend the opposite arm. So right leg back left arm out. Good. This time we're going to inhale. We're going to reach through fingertips back through the heel. Exhale. We're going to take that elbow to knee. Excellent. Inhale, reach. Exhale, round. Now with this other hand, you're still pressing into your mat, pressing away from your mat. Exhaling round. you got a nice long arm and you've got lots of space. We're not, don't collapse down into that shoulder. Good. Last one. Good. Inhaling out. And exhale. Let's come back to center. Good. All right. Let's take the left leg back. So left leg back. And again, see if you can keep those hips level. So you're kind of lowering that left bum cheek. All right. We're going to start. We're going to exhale. Inhale. Press out the heel. Exhale. Bring that knee to elbow. Exhale and round. Good. Inhaling. Extend. Exhale, round, extend. Again, press those hands into your mat. Think about spreading the weight uh, between all your fingers and all the knuckles. Good, last one. All right, we're out. And we're going to take that right arm, extend it out. Good, you're reaching all the way from the fingertips here to the heel back here. Inhale, reach. Exhale, round, elbow to knee. Perfect, inhale, extend. Exhale round. Stay with your breath. We're moving nice and easy and gently. Sometimes that's harder than moving faster, I think. Good. Two more. And last one. Good. Inhaling out. Extend and come down. All right. Let's give those wrists just a little bit of rest. You can come back. Uh, I'm going to take that block. I'm going to come back onto my knees. And let's see, what's a wrist? Let's do it this way. We're going to take our right hand and hold on to our left wrist. Make a fist, and then you're going to circle that wrist. So we're trying to just isolate that wrist. I've got a lot of cracking, a lot more than I did when I did this, because when you do this, You've got your whole, right? Your whole arm is moving. Now we're just in our wrist. Okay, change directions. Try to make the circle as big as you can. That's a little harder. Good. All right. Open and close, open and close. Let's go to the other. Ah, oh, your right wrist this time. So again, keeping your whole arm as still as you can. You're just making a circle with your fist and your wrist. Change directions. Good. All right, let that go. Open, close, open, close, open, close. Let's go uh, one more time here to hands and knees. Okay, so you've got your fingers spread wide. You're pressing into your mat. It's lifting up you up through the shoulders. And we're going to do some rhomboid push-ups. So keeping those arms straight, I want you to drop and squeeze the shoulder blades together and then lift and spread the shoulder blades apart. So you can see that my arms are not moving. Now this can be hard sometimes. Sometimes we want to do our um, arms. I'll do it this way so you can see as well. Arms are straight. It's just in my shoulder blades. So it would be the same thing if you're squeezing and opening the shoulder blades this way. So you could do it this way too, if that's easier or if it makes more sense. Sometimes our body doesn't quite know how to do it, but rhomboid push-up right here. Anything is good, no right or wrong. At least we're moving those shoulder blades. Good, two more, squeeze together, wide apart, squeeze together, wide apart. Excellent. Okay, let's stretch the shoulders just a little bit. Now, 
You might like your blocks on this if you have blocks. Two ways to do it. I'm going to spread my knees wide, take my um, feet close together, and I'm going to go ahead and drop my hips. So this is a, a child's pose, but I want it to be an extended because I want to stretch the shoulders that we just worked. So let's try it. I'm going to place my hands on my blocks just like this, and then I'm going to drop my head down between my arms. Now, my head is not going to make it to the mat, and that's okay. So this is one option, and this is what it looks like. All right, if you don't have blocks or you don't want to use blocks, this is what it's going to look like. My hands are going to be on the mat only, and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to let my head drop between my arms, but my in, the only thing that's on the mat are, are my hands. It's not this. It's this, okay? So this is an active child's pose called an extended A very nice shoulder stretch. Let's take three more breaths. See if you can breathe into the back of your body, the back of your spine. Well, there is no back of your spine. Back of your back toward your spine. How about that? Two more. Inhaling deep into the back of the lungs. Good. One more breath. Good. All right. Walk the hands in. Come on back onto hands and knees. And from here, we're going to step that right foot forward. I'm going to step my right foot forward. I'm going to use my blocks here to place my hands on. So you can be here. If you can see, I've got my legs are pretty much in 90 degrees, and that's great. That works. If you want a little bit more of a stretch in the front of your hip, you can walk that front leg, front foot forward, where you have more of an angle on that leg, okay? I have my knee over my ankle, and once I get into my position, I'm going to press into that front heel and try to drag it back and try to drag this knee towards this foot. So you can feel how that activates your legs, all right? So keep that nice activation. And let's go ahead and we're going to lift up. We're going to inhale, lift the arms up. Good. And exhale back down. Now, if you don't have blocks, this works just as good. Good. Inhale, lift. And exhale back down. Good. A couple more. Inhale, lift. Exhale down. Do two more. Inhale, lifting. Exhale down. And last one. Inhale, lift. And exhale down. Perfect. All right. From here, we're going to take this leg back to meet the other one. And we're going to take the left leg forward. So the same thing here. You can have your legs closer together. Or if you'd like, you can walk that front leg more forward, dropping your hips. So you feel a nice stretch right here on the front of your upper leg. All right, that's your spot. Here we go. We're going to inhale, we're going to reach up and exhale, hands back down. Inhale, reach up, back down. Inhale up, back down, two more. Inhale up. Back down. Good. Last one. And back down. Okay. Let's take that leg back to meet the other. And we're going to go ahead. I'm going to move my blocks out of the way. I'm going to walk my hands forward and I'm going to slowly lower down onto my belly. Let's, uh, let's do a sphinx. Let's take our elbows underneath our shoulders. Your hands are straight out in front, palms are down. Top of your feet are on the ground. I want you to press in to the top of your feet and the pubic bone. So press the front of your hips down into the floor. And as you lift up, you should think of extending long neck and through the crown of your head. 
We've got a nice long neck, nice long upper spine. And then with your hands and your forearms and your elbows, I want you to press them into the floor and try to spread them apart. So you're not going to, you're just trying. So you're activating, really your whole body is activated. You've got your pubic bone pressing down into the ground, helps your lower back. You're extending up through the crown of your head. You've got wide shoulder blades. Hmm. Nice deep breaths, jaw is relaxed. Let's take three more. Still trying to spread the shoulder or the elbows and forearms away from each other. Good, last breath. And exhale, all right, let's come down. Take the hands back behind the chest, curl the feet under, toes under, and move back up onto all fours. I'm going to try one more time a child's pose. This time it will be a restful one. So I'm going to spread my knees wide, so, uh, feet together, take my hips back towards my heels. And this time I'm going to rest my head on my hands. Notice your breath. If you can feel the breath in the back body. Two more breaths here in child's pose. If you can relax your shoulders towards the ground, last breath. All right, coming back up to all fours. Get my blocks ready again. We're gonna step our right foot forward one more time. Okay, right foot forward. Let's walk it if you didn't last time, but let's go ahead and walk that front foot forward a little bit more than maybe you had it before. All right, so again, keeping the knee over the ankle, pressing that front heel down into the mat, and then trying to drag it back towards this knee, and you're trying to drag this knee up towards the heel. So it gives us a nice, strong foundation. All right, this time we're going to take our block in towards our foot. The left hand will be towards the center, and we're going to take and inhale the right hand up to the sky. All right, so while we're lifting our right hand up to the sky, can you relax through the collarbone and chest area and the belly and see if you can open up just a little bit more? Good. Two more breaths. Keep your nice, strong foundation in the feet and the back knee. Take one more inhale. Can you reach just a little bit higher? Beautiful. And as you exhale, bring that hand back down to the ground. All right. We're going to take our hips back. We're going to straighten this front leg. So take the hips back, straighten that front leg. I'm going to go ahead and move my blocks back. And I'm going to lift my toes up towards the sky. I'm going to stretch the back of our leg, nice hamstring and calf stretch. You might um, pull that right hip crease back just a little bit. Hmm. Let's relax into this wonderful stretch. We'll take about five breaths, so we'll stay here just a little bit. You see I'm on my blocks. Let's see, yep. You feel like you're collapsing down. Go ahead and come either up onto your fingertips or the blocks, so it could look like this as well. Good. Take one more big breath in. Lift our heart. Good. Exhale. Bend that front knee, and we're going to take that back to meet the other one. And we'll step the left foot forward. 
All right, so same thing here. I'll move my block. Walking that left foot just a little bit more forward than maybe you had it last time. All right, let's firm up that foundation. Press into that front heel. Try to pull it back towards this knee and then try to bring this knee towards the heel. Good. Knee over ankle. And here we go. We're going to place our right hand down towards the center here. Get your balance. Inhale. We're going to lift the left hand up towards the sky. So again, where can you relax here in the upper body that might allow you to open up and twist just a little bit more? You can relax the, the shoulders just a bit. Across the front of the chest, across the collarbones. Don't forget to breathe. Keep pressing into that front foot. Take two more breaths. Good. One more inhale. Reach a little higher. Exhale. Bring that left hand back down to the ground. Okay. We're going to take the hips back. Straighten that left leg. I'm going to move my hands back, and we're going to lift the toes up to the sky, and then take that left hip crease and move it back. <clears throat> All right. Relax your jaw. Let's take five nice, long, deep breaths here. Nice stretch in the hamstring area. Good. One more breath. Great. All right. Let's walk the hands forward. Bend that knee again. All right. Bring that leg back, the knee back to meet the other one. I'm going to take my blocks here. Go ahead and sit down on your side. And we'll bring the... Let's do this. We're going to bring the soles of the feet together and let the knees come out. <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Great. Now, if you have a block, you can do this without a block too. I'll demonstrate both. So we're going to press the soles of our feet together. Our knees are out, little butterfly pose. And while we're doing that, I'm going to take my block and I'm going to place the block between my forearms. Now, if you don't have a block, you can just do this, okay? Forearms are parallel, palms are up and open. Try it again. All right, nice tall spine. Here we go. We're going to inhale, lift, and exhale down. Good. Move to the left. Inhale up. Exhale down. Center. Inhale up. Exhale down. Over to the right, inhale up and down. Let's go one more round, inhale up and exhale down. Over to the left, center and right. Good, one more center. Great, all right, let's drop the block. We're going to take the block. I'm going to turn. You can stay right where you are. I'm just going to turn so you can see me. Still feet together, knees out to the side. I'm going to take the block behind me. And again, if you don't have a block, you could even use a strap. But again, not necessary. What we're going to do, if you don't have a block, you can clasp your hands or bring your hands near to each other. Maybe you can't clasp them back there near to each other, and then try to bring your elbows close to each other too, moving your elbows towards each other. All right, so we're just in a nice stretch across the front of our chest. So you can do it without a block. If you have a block, you're going to hold the block like this, and you're going to try and pull that block apart while moving the elbows together. If you'd like, you can even lift that block a little bit higher away from you. As tall a spine as you can get. So we've got our legs working, we've got our arms working, we've got a stretch here, and we're tall through the spine. Full body workout right here. <laughs> so 
Relax your jaw. Good, take two more breaths. Last one. Perfect, release that. Good, circle the shoulders, forward and back. You can shake out the arms. All right, go ahead and turn on your mat. We're gonna lie back. Keep our knees bent, lying back. Let's do a nice figure four stretch. How about that? So we'll cross our right knee, or sorry, right ankle over the left knee. Okay? So I have a couple options here too. Basically what we want is we want the right, the right leg, right knee to move away from us. Okay? So you might, and we're going to feel a stretch right here in our outer hip. So if you're not feeling anything there, here's some options. If you have a block, I didn't do this, I might put my foot up on that block. That might be enough to get a stretch here. If not, I'm going to lift that foot up off the ground. And if you still aren't feeling much, I'm going to take my hands around the back of that left thigh and pull that left knee towards me while this knee is moving away. And that should get a nice stretch right in here. Okay. All right, feel your spine rest along the mat, along the ground, along the floor. Your head is heavy. You might even circle that left ankle. Let's add some multitasking here. Nice and slow. Circle that foot and ankle and change directions. <clears throat> All right, let that foot come to stillness. You can relax your shoulders towards the ground. Let's take three more breaths. Get a nice long stretch here. Good, all right, lower that left foot down to the ground and we will switch sides. So left ankle comes over left right knee. I'm trying really hard on my uh, left and right. For those of you who uh, practice with me, <laughs> I've done pretty good today. All right, options are right here. The foot is still on the ground. I can even maybe push this knee away. I might come up onto something, onto a block or a stool. That's not enough. Lift that foot up. Last part, take those hands through and around the back of the right thigh, pulling that right knee towards you. Left knee is moving away from you. Again, you might circle that right foot and ankle. in both directions. Good, let that foot come to stillness. Let's take three more breaths. Good, slowly lower that down. Go ahead and take your feet wide. Knees are still bent, feet on the floor, feet at the edge of your mat, and we'll just gently take the knees side to side, a little windshield wiper. And next time there to the right, let's just go ahead and let the knees stay there. You might take your arms out into a T. And look towards the left, a little bit of a twist. A 
and then bring the knees back to center and let them go to the left. And again, you can look over to the right. Hmm. A great way to start the morning. You could even use this gentle enough. You could probably use it before you go to bed any time of day. Maybe if you've been sitting at your desk. All right, bring those knees back to center. Now let's go ahead and settle in for Shavasana. So straighten your legs out. They can go wide, let your feet fall to the side. Settle your shoulder blades down your back. If it's comfortable, your hands down at your side, maybe your palms are up. Your palms can be down. Oh, you did it. Let your body be heavy. Your legs are heavy. Your hips. Feel the upper back resting on the ground. Your arms are heavy. Shoulders are relaxed. Jaw is soft. Relax all the muscles in your face and your eyes. Nice soft breaths. Three more nice deep breaths as you do wiggle your fingers and your toes. On your next inhale, take a full body stretch, reaching up through the arms, out through the feet. And as you exhale, pull your knees into your chest. And roll over on to one side or the other. And rest your head on your arm. Take another breath. And as you're ready, push your way on up to seated. I'm so glad that you practiced today. I bet you feel a lot better. I know I do. From my heart to yours, thank you for practicing with me, and I'll see you next time.